Dear children, I welcome you once again for this Jishka Math channel. Hope you may have enjoyed the previous unit uh, in which we discussed about this polynomials. We just started the polynomials. We just terminology of polynomials we studied. For, for example, zero of the polynomial, coefficient, constant, variable, this and that, everything. If the number of terms are this much, what is the name of the polynomial? If the degree of this polynomial, if it's this, what is the name of the polynomial? These are the things in the previous uh, unit, we, previous uh, videos we discussed. <clears throat> Today we are going to study a very, very important thing. It is a zero of a polynomial. What is a zero of a polynomial? In the previous video itself, I told you that zero of a polynomial is different. Zeros of a polynomial is different. Different. Zero of a polynomial has no degree. Any number of degree can be assigned to zero. That's a constant. And uh, let us come. What is zero of a polynomial? Before going to the zero of the polynomial, let us see what is the value of the polynomial. For example, a polynomial px is given as x plus 3. Substitute the value instead of x is substitute the value of 1. So what is the value? Replace the variable by this number what is given to you and the value is 1 plus 3 that is 4. If it is a 2, 2 plus 3 that is 5. x is a variable. For that variable, we are giving some values, some values. Any values you can give. P100. That is 100 plus 3. And this 4, 5, 103 are the values of the polynomial if the variable x is replaced by 1, 2 and 100. In short, if x is equal to a, this implies p of a, that is equal to a plus 3. If px is a polynomial, the value of the polynomial when x is equal to a is nothing but a plus 3. Let us define clearly this. These are the examples I gave. Let Px is a polynomial. Let A be a any constant. It may be plus or minus, it may be anything. Px is a polynomial, A is a constant. Then the value of the polynomial Px when x is equal to A is defined as P of A. You know what is the P of A? In polynomial, replace the value vari variable x by A and that value is the value of the polynomial. And let us see P x is equal to x square plus 1, x square minus 1. What is the value of this polynomial when x is equal to 1? Is a 1 square minus 1, that is 1 minus 1, that is 0. What is the value when x is equal to, P, uh, x is equal to minus 1? Minus 1 whole square minus 1 is equal to 1 minus 1, that is 0. P of 2 is equal to 2 square minus 1, that is 4 minus 1, that is 3. See, my dear children, when the polynomial input is given, we are giving some particular value for the variable x. And we found that value and the values of the polynomial, sometimes it is coming 0, sometimes it is not coming non-zero numbers. So, for which value, for which value of the variable, if the polynomial value is coming as 0, then that is known as the 0 of the polynomial. 
So I can define like this, Px is a polynomial, x, when x is equal to a is a given number, if P of a is equal to 0, if, I'm not using if, P of a need not be 0, P of 1 is 0, P of minus 1 is 0, whereas P of 2 is not equal to 0. If P of 4 not equal to 0, P of 100 not equal to 0, P of minus 9 not equal to 0. So for some values, one or two values, it may be, for in this case it will be only two values, only two zeros will be there. How many zeros will be there, that we will see later. That value which gives the polynomial value as 0, that is defined as the 0 of the polynomial. So if x is equal to a is a number, numerical value given, that variable x I am taking as a. If suppose p of a is equal to 0, then a is defined as 0 of the polynomial. Hope I made it very clear. Let fx be a polynomial. Let x equal to a. Let fx be a polynomial. And let x is equal to a is a value. If f of a is equal to 0, then a is defined as the 0 of the polynomial. So we can say 0 of a polynomial means the functional value should be 0. That doesn't mean that the 0 of a polynomial is always 0. It is not necessary the 0 of the polynomial is 0 only. In this example itself, itself just see that the 0 of the polynomial is 1. The 0 of the polynomial is minus 1. So it's a misconception among the children that 0 of the polynomial means value is 0. Value is 0, but variable is not 0. Variable can be anything. That variable is equal to what? That is we are calling as a 0 of the polynomial. So let us take some example. Let a polynomial fx is given. x power 3 minus 7x square plus 8x minus 3. It's a polynomial. I am going to find out the value of the polynomial. Let us substitute f of 1. To find out the value of the polynomial, Simply replace the variable by the given value. x equal to 1 here. So 1 cube minus 7 1 square plus 8 into 1 minus 3. That is 1 minus 7 plus 8 minus 3. So that is minus 1. Similarly, for minus 1 also you can find out. So if a polynomial is given, if a value x equal to a is given, to find the value of the polynomial, simply replace the variable x by that particular given number. That is the value of the polynomial. To find out the zero of the polynomial, we have to substitute the values and this. See for example, fx is equal to x square minus 16. We have to find out how to find out the zero of the polynomial will come later. That means the function simply that's very simple. The, to the zero for the zero of the polynomial, the function value should be zero. So let us put that equal to zero and solve. And solving the quadratic equation and all. In the later stage, you will study, you will come. At that time, you will see that. So, let us take f of 2. It is 4 minus 16, that is minus 8. Sorry, minus 12. At the same time, take f of 4. It is 4 square minus 16. That is 16 minus 16, that is 0. Consider f of minus 4. Minus 4 whole square, minus 16. That's again 16 minus 16. Minus 4 whole square is minus 4 into minus 4. Minus minus plus 4 into 4 16. 
16, that is 0. f of 5, 25 minus 16, that is 9. And then it goes on. Substitute the values. So from this, what we can conclude that 4 and minus 4 is a 0 of the polynomial. So, my dear children, to find the 0 of the polynomial, we have to substitute the given numbers in the poly, in the replace the uh, variable in the given polynomial with that number. If the function value is coming 0, and that is a 0 of the polynomial. How to get the 0 of the polynomial and make it equal to 0 of the polynomial? See, for example, fs is equal to. Yeah, this is a simple problem I'm taking there. Why? Because you already studied how to solve the linear equations. How to solve the linear equations. We got to find out the 0. So, let a be the 0. So, f of a should be equal to 0. That is, x plus 5 is equal to 0. That is, x equal to minus 5. So, for this value, x equal to minus 5, the given polynomial value will be 0 and hence this is 0 of the polynomial. Substitute the value, f of minus 5, minus 5, plus 5, that is equal to 0. To get the value of the polynomial, 0 of the polynomial, you have to simply solve the given equations. It is a very simple thing. But how to solve this equation? For linear, as you studied that, we have done it. If it is a quadratic, in the after quadratic equation, how to solve the quadratic equation, we will come to know this. For your information, I am telling that if ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 is a quadratic polynomial, then x is equal to minus b plus or minus root of b square minus 4ac by 2a will be the solutions. Quadratic equation will have two zeros. The two zeros are one is minus b plus root of b square minus 4ac by 2a. Another one is minus b minus root of b square minus 4ac by 2a. Always a polynomial having uh, n degree will have n solutions. Is a basic fundamental theorem in algebra. Any polynomial of nth degree will have n solutions. A quadratic equation will have two solutions. A linear equation will have one solution. A polynomial of third degree will have three solutions. A polynomial of fourth degree will have four solutions. It may be real, it may be imaginary. In the higher classes, you will study that. When you are going to the higher classes, uh, what are the other values? x square plus 1. I told you the fundamental theorem of algebra that any polynomial of n degree should have n solutions. Now here the question is x square plus 1 is a quadratic equation. Quadratic equation means degree is 2. So you should have two zeros. What are the two zeros? At that time itself, I told you that the zeros may be real or imaginary or whatever it may be. And here, how to find out this? That is equal to 0. So x square is equal to minus 1. Now, a big question which is beyond your syllabus at present. So our system is restricted only up to real number system. When you are going to the 11th standard, when you are going to the higher classes, your system is enlarged. Natural numbers, then our system is increased to integers, then integer to rational numbers, rational number to irrational numbers, irrational number we put all to the real numbers, then up to 10th standard, we will be studying only the real numbers. After that, what is the answer? If this type of question comes, the square of a number is equal to minus 1. It is not possible. A square of a real number is equal to minus 1. Not possible at all. 
So I should have a solution for that. So we are having another system, a complex number system, which you will be studying in the higher classes. So, but at this time you can only think that for equation of n degree will have n solutions and each and every polynomial of any degree will have that number of solutions, zeros. Okay. So let us take one more example. Let fx is equal to x square minus 5x plus 6. You are supposed to are asked to check whether the given number is a zero of the polynomial or not. For example, x is equal to 2 or 3 or minus uh, 2, some numbers are given. You are asked to check whether it is a zero of the polynomial or not. So what we have to do that to check the 2 is a zero of the polynomial or not, we have to find out f of 2. Let us calculate the value. 4 minus 10 plus 6. 6 plus 4, 10 minus 10, it is 0. Therefore, as the value of the polynomial is 0, this number is known as the 0 of the polynomial. Let us take some of this other next value. f of 3. 3 square is 9 minus 15 plus 6. That is also coming 0. So, as the value of the polynomial is 0, this 3 is known as the 0 of the polynomial. Let us check this second one. Third one. Minus 2 whole square is 4 plus 10 plus 6. That is equal to 20, not equal to 0. And hence, this is not 0 of the polynomial. So, for information, for a quadratic polynomial, there have to be two zeros. So already, as I already told you, already informed you that if a polynomial of nth degree will have n zeros, n solutions in later case, when you are coming to the equations. So this roots, this zeros are going to be the roots of the given equations. So let us see that in a later stage. So hence, we are completing the zero of the polynomial. And if you are asked to find whether the given number is a zero of the polynomial, what you have to do that? Simply find the functional value, the polynomial value. If that is equal to zero, then that given number is a zero of the polynomial. With this, let me conclude this. Um, next um, uh, channels, we will see this uh, remainder theorem polynomial and uh, so many things. The, we will work out this problem in the exercise also. And uh, hence, go on, keep watching this. If you like this channel, please uh, like, subscribe and press the bell button. Thank you very much.